So hey, morning, ladies and gents, welcome to Wednesday morning. So, yeah, yesterday we got to, let's say, probably about half this field bailed. Tractor's still packed up there. There's two trailer falls, well, there's a big trailer fall then. Tipping trailer's got the last few ones. Um, yeah, say so I want it to be a bit further through. If I had to leave some, I'd kind of left like 10 rows rather than like 20. <laughs> but uh, such is life. Um, just have a look around actually. My boots out that wet. So the dew is not particularly heavy at the moment, which is nice. I've just stuck my hand in one of the swaths. One of those big ones. Now, usually when you come to it, the top bit is usually sopping wet. It's damp, but it's not wet. We go into it, down to the bottom, and it's nigh on dry. Just a little bit. You can just feel a little bit of moisture in it. So, what I might do, well, I was planning on tending this right back out again, putting big tether on it, and uh, splitting them, up, splitting them, and then rowing them back up again, which would be the ideal way. Unfortunately, with the forecast as it is for tomorrow, it looks like we've got like 25 mil of rain coming tomorrow, so... I'm pushed back by... Well, I wanted to have this field done, so I could go up the lane and get everything up the lane done. Um, this has obviously pushed me back a bit. So... Alright, so I just had a quick look what's been happening here. Well, it's not too bad. Uh, I think they've changed the way of the stack in it. So we'll see, because last year we had right trouble trying to get stuff taken apart. I'll start taking apart. We had to pretty much go from this front here all the way to the back, which is a proper bar lake when you, there's only two of you unloading it again. Um, guys that have done it before, I'm sure they understand. But anyway, looks like I've had a breakage there. We've got a couple dropped off here, but yeah, it's not too bad. It looks very dark. I can't really feel any heat in them. I know there's going to be a little bit in there, but I can't feel much. Hmm. So, yeah. They were happy with them, so they'll tell me if it's really bad. Right, right so it's about like nine o'clock now, and uh, I'm just pulling these rows over. So, literally. Got the hay bob with the gates to one side and using what is, as you look at it, the right hand rotor to pull the swath in and across. It's a bit hard trying to film one of them backwards, but I don't know if you'll see better in the mirror. So, wheels just on outside of the swath. Well, a little bit, there we go. Uh, wheels on the outside of the swath, and then left hand rotor as we sit is uh, just pulling it across a little bit. I've still got it in tedding mode, not rowing up mode. So hopefully it just throws a bit further. I think I'll end up just running over it with either the rake, the hay bob again, or the big rake. So we'll see. Just need to get some air through it, which should be all right. Right, hopefully you can see behind my dirty window. Um, another field road up, that's us road up for the customers. Uh, I need to go back down to the estate, get this hay bob off, get the baler on. The bale the last three, four inches on the estate and then bring the baler up here. Uh, get this one done and the four acres I've got. Right, so first mishap of today, uh, to be fair, it wasn't my fault, or the bailer's fault, the twine got mixed up in the, uh, the twine holders, well, where it comes out of, out of the ball into the, uh, where the, ball, where the, where the twine comes out of the ball in the twine carrier, ball holder thing. 
Twain, so first miss up, Twain coming out of the Twain box at back up Carter and snap, so I've lost about five bales. I've still got one to lose, it's in the chamber, but we'll be alright, we'll get it. Right, carry on. Right, it's half past six. Uh, finished bailing this field out here. Uh, fail, uh, failed. Bailed another acre as well, and the four acres that I've got. Um, so, yeah, there's. I can't remember how many we've done now. Looking on 900 bales I've bailed today, so it's been a good day, really. Uh, I've got to take the old Bertha down to the field and go and drop the bales over the fence for neighbours. To sell them off the field, so yeah. But that's gonna be it, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm hungry. Ladies and gents, welcome to Friday morning. As you can see, we have a cleared field. So that's two cleared fields. Um, yeah, just having a quick walk around, there should be the bottom of the hay, well, the hay bob gate. So the hay bob comes down like that, and the bottom bit is missing. So I don't know if I snapped it off, or the apprentice snapped it off, or what, but anyway, just have a quick walk over. I don't think we'll find it until I start muck spreading. And to be fair, it could be in a couple of other fields anyway. It might have been me that's taking it off. But yeah, um, so yesterday I did nothing at all. I had a day off. Um, it absolutely pelted it down about six o'clock in the morning. It woke me up. I mean, like monsoon rain. And that lasted for about a good half hour, 40 minutes. And it continued to rain for another couple of hours. Equaling about 11 mil in the rain gauge out here. <clears throat> no, sorry, not 11 mil, 15 mil. 15 mil in the rain gauge. So I didn't even bother coming out yesterday. Um, slightly worried that that field, I'll be putting cleat marks in with a tractor. And also, at least one of the fields at the lane as well, there's two I left to do. So I just went for the leave it, let the water soak in the ground a bit. And we'll start today. So today's supposed to be 27, I think. 27 degrees C. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's see what we can do. We've got to try and get the grass dry and the van dry in pretty much a day. And then Saturday's bailing day. Hopefully, I mean, the Sunday's kind of murky and miserable, and then, mm, yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen next week. Um, this has been on ground now for a week and a, a week, a week and a day. Oh, I've got some bales to pick up as well. There's a couple sat over there in the hedge line. There's one down here that's been run over, and there's another one that far side, but I was having nightmares with the uh, sledge at times and especially up the lane when I was doing my own stuff so the colours have gone out of the top of this grass now it got bleached yesterday I'll take a bit of a lump at least underneath it's still nice and green um, but it is wet from top to bottom and like ultra wet in the bottom compared to like in between it's just wet so I've still got the hay bob in tedding up mode, so once this slightly dries and the ground slightly dries in between the rows, I'll put the hay bob on and I'll row it up, kind of hopefully to one side, which will then fluff the grass up and start drying the ground off, give it to the afternoon and then I'll have to come back down again, but do it the other way around and try and throw the grass out to the other side. And then I'm probably gonna have to come down this road. I don't know if I wrote up with a big rake because it might be a bit too much for a big rake. Be a big old swath. Oh, I'll come down with hay, bob, hay bob yet again and write up for bailing. But by the time I've done 14 acres it's like a, a mile and a, just over a mile up the lane to the other ones. And they're all rough fields. I can't tram on very well in these fields. Um, it'll take me most of the day to do that so uh, I think today is just going to be a case of trying to get this dried back to where it was pre-yesterday 
and I'll certainly stick out now. I don't think we need that anymore.